being a chef is my absolute passion. And cooking up science recipes is my speciality. I'm Buster Beaker, and this is Cooking with Science. Oh, hello. Welcome to Cooking with Science. I'm Buster Beaker. <laughs> Delicious. Nothing is more important to have fresh than your seafood. It's what makes the difference between a fresh fish... <laughs> ah, and one that isn't so fresh. <laughs> If you live by the ocean, you probably know that the water gets high tide and low tide. Look closely, it's the same location. Amazing! Oh. But did you know that this is caused by the gravity of the moon and the sun? See, this cookie is the Earth. And this little happy fellow is me. Hello! <laughs> and this string represents the water around the Earth. If we didn't have gravity to worry about, the water would all be equally deep around the Earth. But here comes the moon, this mushroom. Now, the moon has gravity, and that pulls the oceans towards it a little bit, like this. And that creates high tide there, and low tide here, and a little bump of high tide on the other side of the Earth. And as the Earth rotates and I'm on it, I experience low tide and high tide and low tide and high tide. Very interesting. But there's another factor. The sun, or this lemon. Now, the sun also affects the tides, but not as much as the moon. Now, the sun does not affect the tides as much as the moon because it's much further away, but it still has an effect. If the sun was here, then the tides would be pulled away a little bit like that, and the tides would be less severe. But if the moon and the sun line up, like over here, you'd get a very, very high tide and very, very low tide. So there you are. That's how the tides are affected by the gravity of the moon and the sun. Mmm, delicious. I'm Buster Beaker, and thank you for joining me on Cooking with Science. Oh. <laughs>